In this demo, I will demonstrate how to create a simple web page layout using three divs. Divs are like containers. They can hold titles, content, or images. You can position and resize them. Let's go ahead and start by making three divs. The first div is going to be for our title. I'm going to put that title right inside of there. Second div will be for our links. Since we don't have any links yet, I'll create, a f I'll create a few potential links by making an unordered list. Now you can see those links are show up right underneath our title. Finally, we're going to create a div for the content of the page. This is what code looks like in full screen. Now let's go into our style sheet. Because all the divs have the same name, if we were to edit the div in style sheet, all the divs would receive the same styling. For example, if I make the background color green, all divs have the same background color. Therefore, we want to name our divs. I'm going to do this by using an ID. For our first div, let's give it an ID of header because it's going to be the header of our web page. For the second div, let's give it the ID of nav because it's going to have the navigation buttons to get around the web site. And the final ID will just be the body because the main content of the web page will be within that body. Now we'll edit each one of these individually in style sheet. With IDs, use the hashtag and then the name of the ID. As you can see, header is now highlighted in our live preview. To position our divs, I'm going to use absolute positioning. For me, absolute positioning is the easiest because it positions everything from the very first item in the web page. In this case, it's this HTML tag. Therefore, all, th all things used absolute positioning will be positioned to the very top of the page. Because I have now positioned this absolute, all the other content is moved up. However, that will change as we continue to position these, thing these divs. Our header div, we want close to the top but not exact, not flush with the top. So we'll give it a distance of five pixels from the top. Let's also give it a distance of five pixels from the left and right. Our head did, we want about 140 pixels tall. Actually, let's make it a little smaller. Now, just to make it easier, I'm going to add an outline so that we can see the div in relation to the other ones. Now we've created our head div. Now, let's edit our nav links. We want our nav links to be underneath this head div. Again, we'll use absolute positioning. Because the head div is about 130 pixels and it's 5 pixels from the top, I'm going to make 
our nav div 140 pixels. That way it comes nicely underneath this head div. Also, I want this nav bar to go all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to make it to have a distance of 5 pixels from the bottom. I want this nav div to be about, I'm going to start with 200 pixels and see how that looks. Maybe you know, a little smaller. Now we'll format our content div body. Again, let's add a outline to the nav div so that we can see where these different divs lie. Again, I'm going to use absolute position. We want this div to be from the right 5 pixels. And again, 5 pixels from the bottom, just like the nav div. However, the content needs to be flush with the nav. So, we're going to give it a left of about 200 pixels. Now, you can see a simple web page with these divs that are divide the web page nicely. In full screen, this is the code for the CSS. This is the code for the index. And this is our web page in full screen. As you can see, as we resize it, the divs resize with the page because of the positioning that we used. And this is how you use divs to create a simple web layout.